Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is the growth pattern that I've received with the SPS Montipora Spongotus. Uh, if you follow me, you'll notice that uh, way back I went ahead and I did a video which, as you must be aware, I do a video on every coral that I purchase. And uh, I've noticed phenomenal growth on this uh, Spongotus coral. So I thought I'd shoot a little brief video to show you uh, like a recap of what this coral is all about and also to uh, show you more or less the actual uh, fingers, the actual growth that has occurred on this coral. So I hope you enjoy it and hold on one second. Okay, and here we are in front of the tank. Uh, well, actually, uh, a side view, an angle, so you can actually see what's going on because from the front, you barely could not see the actual growth. Now, uh, what I've tried to do is I have tried to kind of like rotate the plug, but I'm not able to because they already encrusted into the rock work. So I haven't been able to do it. But here it is. This is the Spongotus. As I mentioned before, it's a uh, Montipora, of course, of the family of uh, SPS. Now, if you look at it closely, you'll notice, of course, the main stalk, as it protrudes up, you have uh, the two or three little tips, little green tips. But then uh, the growth that I've noticed that I thought I, I show all of you out there is what I've been noticing lately, and it's growing rapidly. On the, if, you look, if you look at the coral uh, centered and you go towards the right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to display it with a little arrow. But if you look at it, you'll notice there's a finger that's uh, coming up. This is uh, the nature of this coral, of the Spongotus coral. As a matter of fact, I got uh, this one like I always get all the corals. It's not a, a plug. I don't get paid for it. But all of my corals, um, well, except from two or three, 99% of these corals are from worldwide corals. But they have one Spongotus on one of the major displays, and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Of course, it's no longer a frag, it's humongous. It looks like a towering coral on the right-hand side of one other displays, and it's gorgeous. And this is what I'm noticing on this frag that, that I got, by that little finger that you notice on the right-hand side. Now, if you observe from the center and you go to the lower left, you're going to notice that there's another little finger type uh, protrusion that's coming uh, out of the coral. Of course, I'll also detail it with a little arrow going towards the uh, coral. And these are the features, this is the growth pattern that these corals usually take. And to do a little recap on the coral, um, as I mentioned before, these are of the family of SPS corals, short polyp stony coral. Of course, they're Montipora, which they're not that, that difficult as acros. Now, uh, why am I getting this growth pattern? Well, as I've done research before on the coral, but I thought I'd do a little like uh, review. If you place it in the middle to the upper regions of the tank and you give it some good turbulent water flows, and it will grow rapidly. What I've done for the past couple of days, I went ahead and I increased my random flow on the MP10. There were some random flows that I had them down like to 30 and 40%, then a couple of them I had them at 50. So what I did is the ones that were 30, I ramped them up to 40. So now I do have, a, well, I've always had random flow on the tank, but I raised it a, a little bit. And then one other uh, recap, unlike some of the worldly Montiporos, this is an encrusting species that grows, as I mentioned, finger-like projections, which gives it a rather unique appearance. Now, uh, one thing that uh, you should have is you should make sure you give it plenty of room around it 
uh, to encrust or it could quickly start encroaching on other corals. And that's totally true because have you noticed, these fingers are starting to protrude. Now they protrude, they angle out and they go up. So you should have uh, some room around it so it doesn't touch uh, other corals or the, the rock work. And another recap on uh, this coral and many of the SPS, Montoporos and Aquaporos, uh, mainly that uh, standard reef tank water parameters are needed just as high salinity, alkalinity, magnesium, and calcium. These uh, levels should be in check. Now, when it comes to me, what do I feed all of my corals? If you follow me, you'll know that what I feed is reef roids. I, I, uh, I was feeding it once a week. Now, for the past week, I've started twice a week. So I'm feeding reef roids on Mondays and on Fridays. And what I use, uh, basically, but I've shied away from it for a little while because I had a little problem where uh, I was getting a little green algae. But what I also add is the Brightwell Aquatics to replenish and the Coral uh, Amino. Those two products, I was giving it weekly, but I shied away from it well, for and a that's little it. while. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And right there next to it, there's a little bell. Hit that bell. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great, fantastic day. Bye-bye.